Dan, how would you describe who you are in one sentence? Uh, I'm a computer techie who lucked out the computers are worth money. That's who I am. And, uh, you, you decided that computers are worth money? Yeah, you, I decided to go in the computer um, sort of huh? vocation back in 1964. Okay, and what's your association with Doug Engelbart? And my association with him is through Bill Dahl. Bill Dahl is a big connector and very good friend of um, Doug Engelbart's. And so Bill introduced me to um, Doug Engelbart and all that he did. And it's kind of amazing. I started programming in 1968, which is when the um, mother of all demos, which is what Doug Engelbart is very famous for, that's when that um, happened. Did you work directly with Doug? No, I never did work directly with him. I never did. I was too young. Would you say that his work changed your life in some way? Yeah, everything. It's the mouse, it's um, social media, all that is all Doug Engelbart. He thought of all those things. There's a really cool slide he did in 1962, 63, where he predicts personal computers, although he doesn't call them those, networked, which he doesn't call, the, call it that, with email, which he doesn't call it that, but it actually is all of that. Very how impressive. Would, how would you describe his overall vision in a couple of sentences? It's amazing for someone to think that far into the future accurately. That's what I think. Now, do you th what do you think he's going to be most remembered for over the long term? I think he'll be remembered over the long term for social media and also um, human computer augmentation. I think that augmentation, that hasn't even started yet, and I think that, or it's in its infancy, I think that'll be it. Now, what's your concept of that, like computer augmentation or human augmentation? How, how do you see that? What does that mean? Well, you're seeing a little of it now where you can take your little smartphone and you can ask it questions and that augments what you can do because now you can now answer some question you didn't know. But imagine that you didn't have to do any of that, that it was built into your brain and you simply thought it and it happened. And that's what augmentation is to me. So does that mean that human beings themselves will actually change in some way? Oh yeah, people change every day. I mean, I, I talk to eight-year-olds now and um, they have no idea what a record is, you know, they don't know what a fax is, they don't know what just a ton of things are <laughs> because they've changed. They're, in, they're, they're used to something different. And um, if they don't know the answer to a question, they use Google and they look it up. Um, is there some part of Doug's vision that appeals to you the most? I think that the use of computers to bring, bring, bring people closer together, I think that's what the big vision is that's so impressive. Do you think that a lot of people are following up on his vision and taking it to a level that he could not achieve in his lifetime? Yeah, I think he couldn't achieve it in his lifetime because the technology wasn't there yet. And I think it'll take some time now, not because of technology, but because of focus. I think that people are focused in other areas a lot. There, are, There is a devoted group that are Doug Engelbart you know, devotees, but, but it's not where that big funding is right now. Now, some people call themselves Engelbartians. Yeah. Are you one of those people? No, I don't think so. I don't think I knew him well enough. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add about Doug? Just he was such a visionary. I, I, I'm, I'm an inventor as well. I've a, I have a 12 inventions or something like that, maybe 16. And I'm just so impressed that he thought of the things he did so long ago when nothing was there as infrastructure. And I've invented some things, but they're all based on things that we kind of see nowadays. You know, they're... You know, three years from now, people will be using those inventions. But he thought of things that took 20 years. What were some of your inventions? I invented network surveillance, what's used by the NSA to snoop all the people and all that stuff that's in the news. That was one of my inventions back in the 90s. Okay, so that must make you pretty popular. Yeah, by some people. Some people aren't too wild about Big Brother. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. so now that the world is getting more computerized, do you think that computerizing everything is a total good, or do you think maybe there's a possible downside as well? I think that overall it's very good. The problem is, is that it helps concentrate um, information into wrong hands on occasion. This whole NSA thing is an example where they have all the metadata on everyone in the United States, and actually almost everyone in the world. That can be a problem. As long as they do good with it, it's fine, but if they, you know, someone bad. I still remember Nixon, you probably do too, as president. He wouldn't have hesitated to use that data <laughs> for his enemies list, right? You know, back then. And that's the danger. Okay. 
Is there anything else you'd like to add about Doug before we break? No, I just thought he was just really super brilliant. I just thought it was just amazing. And a nice person as well.